All right, so a little while ago, a really cool viewer friend, Jacko Reno, asked me to say hi to my trees for him. And I think I'm going to oblige. This here is Western Hemlock. Hello, Western Hemlock. The needles are kind of flat and soft. And they kind of come off of the stem there nearly flat straight out. Alrighty. See, how do we want to do this? We want to go for, we'll just go for whatever we come across. Alrighty. This one here is red cedar. Hello, cedar. This is a traditional native plant. Um, some folks might know of cedar bark for baskets and whatnot. And this is the critter that the stuff's made out of. What you never want to do with these trees is go all the way around when you're peeling the bark. You don't want to go all the way around in the circle. That actually kills the tree. The nutrients is uh, transferred to the plant through basically veins in the bark. However, if you take it from the ground and you take it up and you make a nice little cut mark, it can heal over that patch. And uh, then you strip that down and that's what you make your baskets out of. All right, now let's see here. I guess this is as good of an alder as we can get for right now. This bear guy right here, this is an alder. This one here is really, really good for cooking wood. It makes all that nice smoky flavor in like your Tim's Cascade potato chips. And that's the bark. On that one, it's kind of textured, almost like a wall texture in a house. It's very, very dense and makes your food taste really good. Alrighty. Don't mind me, we're kind of <laughs> just touring around here. Now we do have Quite a few uh, fruit and ornamental trees as well. This one here is a little spawn Japanese plum. Not much to look at right now. I'll have to do another video in the spring. This here is a Barcelona hazelnut, otherwise known as a, a filbert domestically. Hello, hazelnut. Oh, yes. Hello, plum. Hello, alder. Okay. Gotta do my thing. Gotta say hello, like I promised I would. Alrighty. And that one there with the candy cane branch, that is a quince. It's an old, old variety of fruit. It's related to apples. Very, very high in pectin. And pectin is the natural thickener that plants make for making jelly. Alrighty. <laughs> These two. We call this the purple. The one on the right is our state's tree, and that is a Douglas fir. Things get absolutely huge. This is what most of your uh, wood for your houses is made out of, is Douglas fir. That guy right there. The heavily mossy one there. That is a big leaf maple. It's uh, not got the sugar content of uh, the northern Canadian or northern North American uh, sugar maples. However, these things can be tapped. 
and they can be used for sugar. Let's see here. What else we got? Well, I'm gonna take you to a bit of one of our state flower, or our state flower. It's not in bloom right now, but the buds are forming. Here's a rhododendron, which is our state flower. And I'm including this in a tree as a tree because they can get absolutely huge. As a matter of fact, I'll take you up underneath one that I've been pruning into a tree. Here's a stand of a uh, rhododendron that I've been forming into a tree. Getting them way up there. It's about 20 feet up in the air now. And then all this long, lanky trunk. Well, other than a few weed plants, uh, there's cascara and stuff around here. Cascara is not my preferred plant, but it's a native plant, and the birds love it. It uh, grows in clumps. It is a tree, but it... Uh, has these berries on it that make kids think that they're cherries. <laughs> Thankfully, I've not had to encounter children that think these things are cherries. But um, I've heard plenty of stories of people eating the cherries off of these things and cleaning out their system real good. It's a little different. And these things are very distinctive when you break into them. The, uh, the smell of the sap is almost like cat ear, and it's, it's pretty gross. <laughs> I can see why they probably uh, clean out the stomach. Hopefully that message doesn't end up coming across here. I'll have to look. Maybe edit that out. This is such a long time of year to do this, but I'm having a minute with you guys anyways. And this here is a red maple. Although, being as it has no leaves right now, it's not exactly too red looking. <laughs> but in any case, um, I had thought that it was a great idea When uh, Dogs Bullocks, Jack Reno there, asked me to say hi to the trees for him. So, I figured I'd better finally get out here and do this. I'll try and get it again, try to remember, come spring, when things actually have leaves and flowers. And we'll get into more of the fruit trees and stuff. But, yep, these are our big buddies that take the wind for us and insulate our property and all that kind of stuff. It's it's really neat. And uh, thanks again, Jack, for the idea. Hope you have good feelings about me telling the trees hi for you. Have a good one, folks.